what we're should alive. Edward Snowden expect now, based on your experience? I mean, your <laughs> homes were searched, well, in some yeah. cases at gunpoint. Uh, yep. Your property was seized. In some cases, it's never been returned. Um, talk to talk to us about what he should expect, and talk to us also reflect a little bit on your own experience and whether you regret what you did, and do you think that he will ultimately come to regret what he did? Uh, well, first of all, I think he should expect to be treated just like Bradley Manning. Right? If the if the U.S. government gets a hold of him, that's exactly the way they'll treat him. He'll uh, be prosecuted. Well, he'll be first tortured, then, you know, maybe even rendered and tortured, <laughs> but then, uh, and then, uh, and then incarcerated, and then tried and incarcerated, or even executed. Now, there's another possibility, that a few of the good people on Capitol Hill, the ones who say the threat is much greater than what we're, we thought it was, will step forward and say, give this man an honest day's hearing. You know what I mean? Let's yeah. get him up here, ask him, <clears throat> verify, because if he's right, and all pointers are that he was, all he did was point to law-breaking. What yeah. is it, the crime of that? Yeah. But see, I'm exhibit number one in precisely that. You know, I, I was charged under the Espionage Act, 10 felony counts. I was facing 35 years in prison. This is how far the state will go to punish you out of retaliation and reprisal and retribution. Right. During, during their investigation, at one point, the original chief prosecutor said, how would you like to spend the rest of your life in prison, Mr. Drake, unless you cooperate with our investigation? Now, that investigation was launched because of the James Risen and Eric Lutbaugh article yep. that was published <clears throat> in December of 2005 regarding a portion of that secret surveillance program that I blew the whistle on within internal channels shortly after 9-11. And even that was just the tip of the iceberg. And the government wanted to do everything it can to find and fry, quote unquote, the leakers. My yeah. life has been inalterably changed. I mean, and, it's been turned inside, upside down. I lived on the yeah. blunt end of the surveillance state, both electronic surveillance and physical surveillance. When you're facing, essentially, with the, most of the rest of your life in prison, you really begin to understand and appreciate, more so than I ever have in terms of the four times I took the oath to support and defend the Constitution, what those freedoms and rights and liberties really mean. Right. Mm -hmm. Here's my own government wanting to take those away because what? I dared speak truth to and of power for the conduct that rose to a level that included high crimes and misdemeanors? That's right. And you want to snuff me out? You want to censor who I am as an American citizen and subject me to the full power of the surveillance state? That's precisely what I experienced. Believe me, they're going to put everything they got to get him. Yep. And I think there really is a risk. There is a risk and, that and he'll, he'll could potentially be yep. pulled off the street. And for the rest of us, they, <clears throat> they attempted to, to frame us. <clears throat> they were fabricating evidence and tried to indict us. Fortunately, I, got, I found malicious, evidence of malicious prosecution and made it clear because I called Tom because I know his phone was tapped. And I told him all yeah. that, and so they dropped it, you know. What do you mean pulled off the street? What well, that mean? Uh, it means they... Well, I think it's fear of rendition. Yeah, it's like... Uh, it's it could like be a team sent in. I mean, I mean, there are to some... To seize him. I mean, I had... Bring right. him back. Yes. Uh, uh, Justin, you might want to weigh in to on this. What, what are the risks treatment. in this country with an American citizen right. who decides to expose you know, crimes right. of the state and becomes a criminal because you're exposing crimes. I think because of so much attention, they're going to try to do it, try to do it lawfully and try to yeah. arrest him and then extradite him because all eyes are watching. But I mean, I would say he um, will be, <laughs> I mean, we've already unleashed the full force of the entire executive branch against him insofar as we, we are now doing a worldwide you know, manhunt to bring him in, something more akin to what we would do for Osama bin Laden. And I know for a fact that if we do get him, he would definitely face Espionage Act counts, as have other people who have exposed information mm. of government wrongdoing. And I've heard a number of people in Congress calling that he also be charged with treason. These are obviously the most serious yeah. offenses yeah. that can be leveled against an American. And the people who so far have faced them um, and have never intended to harm the U.S. or, or benefit a foreign nation. They've always wanted to inform the public. So, but yet he will face 
severe consequences if he's back here. That's why I understand why he's seeking asylum. I think he has a valid fear of political persecution if he returns. Yeah. So if we're going to find out what kind of country we are. What have we become? What do we want to be? If you could give him a piece of advice, if you could speak to him, what would you say I, to him? I would, I would tell him to steer away from anything that isn't a public service. Like <clears throat> talking about the ability of the U.S. government to hack into other countries or other people is not a public service. So that's kind of compromising capabilities and, and meth sources and methods, basically. That's getting away from the public service that he did initially. And that, that, those would be the acts that they, people would charge him with as clearly treasonous. Tom, so, what would you say to him if you could speak to Edward Snowden? Well, I feel extraordinary kinship with him, given <coughs> what I experienced at the hands of the government. Um, <coughs> and I would really just tell him to ensure that he's got a support network that I hope is there for him and that he's got the lawyers necessary uh, across the world who will defend him uh, to the maximum extent possible. And he has a support structure and network that's in place. Because I will tell you when, you, are, when you exit the surveillance state system, it's a pretty lonely place. Because it had its own form of security, and your job, and family, and your social network, and all of a sudden, you're on the outside now in a significant way. And you have that laser beam of the surveillance state turning <coughs> itself inside out to find and learn everything they can about you. Kirk, what would you, what would you say? Well, I, I think you, you, your savior in all of this is being able to honestly relate to the principles embedded in the Constitution that are guiding your behavior. That's yeah. where it <coughs> really rubber meets the road at that point. Justin, what, what about you? I would thank him for taking such a huge personal risk and giving up so much of his life yeah. and possibly facing the loss of his life or spending it in jail. Thank him for doing that to try to help our country save it from itself in terms of exposing dark, illegal, unethical, unconstitutional conduct that is being done against millions and millions of people. I, so I actually salute him. I, I, will, I will say it right here. I actually yeah. salute him, uh, given, given what I experienced over many, many years, uh, both inside and outside the system. Um, remember, I saw what he saw. I, I want to reemphasize that. What he did is a magnificent act of civil disobedience. He's exposing the inner workings of the surveillance state, and it's, it's in the public interest. It truly is. And you two agree? Well, I, yes. I don't want anyone to think that he had an alternative. No one should. There is no path for intelligence community whistleblowers who know wrong is being done. There is none. Yeah. It's a toss of the coin, and <clears throat> the odds are you're going to be hammered.